All right, this is just an addendum to the last video that I did on disease causes cure. Okay, so this is just part two and I'm gonna stick to my word this time. I'm not gonna go on too long about this, but I just needed to go back because when I was talking about just because you do something and you get better doesn't mean that it was the lack of that that actually made you sick. And I only used one example, which was doing kind of more of the mental, emotional, energetic kind of type healing things, okay? Meaning like positive thoughts and visualization and affirmations, maybe some sound healing. Uh, you know, again, getting yourself into uh, a better state, you know, kind of emotionally and that type of thing, okay? I only used that example saying that just because you get healing by doing these things. Let's say you're not doing anything else. This is the only quote form of healing that you're doing and you get a healing. You cannot assume that the lack of that was the cause, okay? And I wanted to give this other example and I just forgot because I was blabbing too much. My mind was jumping ahead of me. It's no different than <clears throat> having a disease taking some herbs, you get better. Like, you go get x-rays and whatever major issue you had is gone, like completely gone, like it cured you because it activated your self-healing abilities and it cured you, okay? it doesn't mean that you had that problem because you didn't have that herb or you didn't have that remedy, okay? So again, we can not make assumptions like that. There's some things that are pretty evident, like you change your diet and your body heals, then you can safely assume that what you were eating was was harming you, okay, for whatever reason. It might not have even been the food to begin with. It could have been you had a ton of gut problems because you swallowed bleach as a kid. I mean, I'm just like putting it out there, but I'm just saying, right? So again, there's, there's a lot of difficulty in thinking that we always know what the true cause is. It's always a good idea to look and it's always a good idea to, to try to figure it out if you can but sometimes we can't and it's not necessary. That's probably the most important thing that I wanna get across is it's great to be able to dig and see if you can discover the cause. Oh, eating junk food wrecked my gut, caused me to have inflammation or what have you, that's great. You, you see it, you get rid of it, you do something different, Boof, you're better, that's wonderful, right? That's great. It's wonderful when we can do that. Or, oh, when I use this certain chemical in my house, it caused me to have respiratory infections or respiratory illness or respiratory irritation. So get rid of that chemical, okay? It's really great when we can do that. We can find the cause, but we can't always. We can't always find the real original cause. So we just have to experiment and try different things to get us to feel better, and then to do things to engage the self-healing abilities more fully, more fully, okay? So I guess that's where I'm going, is that our body has these self-healing abilities which can basically like override the disease state and the body can literally just start getting busy and healing your body, okay? that's. That's the hugest element of the quote, natural healing world or alternative healing world. And then of course there's remedies and medicines and diet and all of those things that are necessary for a lot of people to implement in order for their body to start healing. Okay, so it's really not a this or that Oftentimes, it's all of it. It's coming in from all the different angles. 
And what I encourage people to do is before jumping on any bandwagon and making a decision is to just sit and be still, just be quiet and see what your gut is leading you to do, your instincts, your intuition, like what is it that really feels right to you? And I always ask people too, what do you think is the root of this? Do you think that you can connect with something that is underneath all of this? And you know what? A lot of times people know. People oftentimes know. Now, not always. Sometimes people are really, you know, they're just not, they're not aware. But a lot of times when I talk to people, deep down they, they kind of know. They kind of know that they need to change things and shift things or what have you. But sometimes people really are not aware. Sometimes people are not aware of the detrimental effects of certain chemicals in the environment and things like that. And it's just education. And then they start to, to wake up and they start to make changes. And then they start to, you know, maybe go on some remedies or something that helps their body to, you know, detoxify or what have you. Um, you know, ramp up those abilities is what I want to say. You're just basically ramping up your body's ability to eliminate poisons and toxins. And there are remedies and things that can support that. So again, very rarely is life black and white. And when it comes to our health, very rarely is it black and white because there's many, many, many things that weave together, okay? And it's not just one string holding that web together it's many strings, okay? And I've talked about the story about the vultures. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely watch it, okay? Where I talk about the vultures over in India and I believe it was Nigeria and there were other areas too within that region of the world where the vultures were all dying of kidney failure, okay? Uh, I'll try to I'll try to dig through my videos and I'll if I find it I will post it in the description but just to make a long story short okay we are nature we are animals we are a species of an animal we are mammals okay we fall into nature's rhythm nature's rules nature's laws however you want to look at it just like all animals in nature we're not different when it comes to that we're different in other ways, but we're not different. We are subject to nature's laws, okay? And nature's laws is that if we are exposed to poison at an amount that is greater than what our body can handle, it can kill us. It's not because of your mind and it's not because of your thoughts. It's not because of any of those things. It's because you were exposed to a poison. And the story about the vultures illustrates this perfectly okay, is that the vultures were being exposed to a toxin that was destroying their kidneys and they were seeing massive deaths in the vultures. And it was a real problem. And then they figured it out, what was going on, and they were able to turn it around. So uh, look for that video. I'm gonna look for it too, okay? Uh, I don't remember the title of the, the video, but I'm gonna try to find it. And if I do, I'll leave it in the description box, okay? So anyway, bigger picture people, bigger picture. Don't get locked down narrow corridors, okay? Signing out.